Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we shall get the concept of residue at infinity and complex integration with the help of residue at infinity. Let us see the definition. Let f of z be an analytic function in a simple closed curve C except for finite number of singular points. Then the residue of the function f at infinity is equal to minus residue of 1 over z square f of 1 over z comma 0. In this definition you can see that we are converting the study of the function f at infinity to the study of the function at 0. And integration of the function f along the closed curve C is equal to minus 2 pi iota into a residue of the function f at infinity. And now let us see the logic behind the residue at infinity. Let we have a circle C whose radius is R and F of Z has all its singular points inside this circle. All finite singular points of the function f are inside this circle. So if I draw a bigger circle whose radius is capital R, now we can see that the function f has no singular point in this region. And I can extend this larger circle to a very large circle so that so that its radius will tends to infinity. So if its radius is so big that it is equal to infinity then we need to find the residue at infinity. That is why sometime we define the residue at infinity as follows. The definition is the residue the residue at infinity is a residue of an analytic function on an annulus having having an infinite external radius but we have to concentrate only on these two results so if we are given a function f of z and we have to obtain a residue of the function f at infinity then what we have to do first of all we have to replace this z by 1 over z so that we will obtain f of 1 over z. Then we will multiply f of 1 over z with 1 over z square. And now we can obtain residue of this function at 0 with the usual methods. And to find the integration 
of this function where c is positively oriented circle then this is equal to minus 2 pi iota a residue of f at infinity and now let us solve an example to explain this result look at this example let f of z is this function number one find the residue at infinity number two using the method of residue at infinity to evaluate this integral where c is given by this one so let us start from the solution here in this question we have f of z which is equal to 5z minus 2 divided by z into z minus 1. So according to the definition we have to replace z by 1 over z. So replace z by 1 over z we will get 5 into 1 over z minus 2 divided by 1 over z into 1 over z minus 1 and now if we simplify this result we can get that this is z into 5 minus 2z divided by 1 minus z and now we have to multiply f of 1 over z with 1 over z square so this implies that 1 over z square f of 1 over z is equal to so if i multiply 1 over z square here we will get 5 minus 2z divided by z into 1 minus z so just for simplicity let that this is our function g of z g of z is equal to 1 over z square f of 1 over z which is equal to 5 minus 2z divided by z into 1 minus z and now you can see that g of z has a pole of order 1 or in other words z is equal to 0 is a simple simple pole of g of z so we have to find the residue of g of z at 0 now so residue of the function g at point 0 is equal to by definition we can write that this is equal to z into g of z at the point z is equal to 0 and now we have to put the values we will get z into g of z is 5 minus 2z divided by z into 1 minus z at z is equal to 0. This z will cancel with this one. And if I put z is equal to 0 here and here, I can get that residue of g at 0 which is equal to 5. And now we know that what is g of z? This is residue of g is this function. So I can say 1 over z square f of 1 over z comma 0 is equal to 5. So now we can obtain the result that residue of the function f at infinity is equal to minus residue of 1 over z square f of 1 over z comma 0 which is equal to minus 5 and this is the required solution and now in the next stage we have to find integration of uh, this curve To find integration, we know that integration of the function f of z 
dz is equal to minus 2 pi iota into residue of the function f at infinity. So if we put the values, we will get 2 pi iota into residue of the function f at infinity which is equal to minus 5. So we will get that the integration is equal to 10 pi iota. And now let us see the same question with an another method. The other method uh, which we have solved in my previous lecture. So I will just show you the result for detail you can watch my previous video. You can see we have the same function that we have to integrate this one. To integrate this function we first of all we have to obtain the singular points of that function. So there are two singular points z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1. These are two poles. So we have to obtain residue of f at 0 which is equal to 2 and then we have to obtain residue of f at 1 which is equal to 3. And finally by the residue theorem we can get that this is equal to 2 pi iota and sum up the residue. And finally we get the answer 10 pi iota which is the same. So at the end I will say that the residue at infinity is a clever technique that can sometimes allow us to replace the computation of many residues with the computation of a single residue. That is all.